Building a house in Ghana is probably one of the most difficult things anybody will have to go through if they decide to move out this way. For most people, renting is not necessarily sustainable and therefore at a point in time, you probably want your own property. You want to make it custom, you want to make it to suit your own needs. In this video, we're going to be speaking with Ennis. Ennis is a contractor and he's built a lot of amazing properties out in Ghana. This is one of them, you guys can see. We're going to get to tour it shortly and we're also going to get to know him a little bit and get to know how he became an expert in this. I think this is very necessary information for people that are interested in either buying in Ghana or building their own home in Ghana. So don't go anywhere, stay tuned, give me a thumbs up and I'm excited to show you this place so let's get right into it. compound here is incredible guys it looks so good hello hi, Jasmine hi how are you good you're welcome thank you beautiful beautiful home you've built here thank you the view is incredible I'm going to ask you several questions about this place a little later on yeah but before we do that can you show me around all right come through <laughs> I love how spacious it is. We build, we do interior deco as well. Oh, okay. So my interior, I love it. Mm. So normally I just want it to stand out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. How yeah. big is this property? Uh, in square meters, I have to check on the plan, but okay. it's huge mm -hmm. and very spacious. Okay. So this is the living room. Yeah, beautiful. And Beautiful. We have a void area when you're standing up, you can see through. Yeah, yeah. Downstairs. Those high walls are yeah. really nice. How long did you say it took you to build this? Two years. Two years? Yeah, wow. two years. This wow. is laundry. Okay. okay. This is open kitchen. So oh, okay. this is all custom built. Okay. So okay. we do the kitchens like, mm -hmm. yeah, foreign kitchen. The cabinetry is all foreign style. Okay. So you did all the um, cabinetry and everything yeah, yourself Yeah, we have a team well. that does That everything. does that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Two years so, is a short amount of time to be able to put something together like yeah. this. Yeah. So from A to Z, we have all the group to do okay. everything. Right. Right. POP okay. ceiling, everything. Tiling, all have, everything that goes into building. Yes. Here. Electrical okay. company. Okay. We have towels, okay. everything. So here goes to the back. Ghanaian style, if you want to pound your fufu. Oh, okay. You have yeah. a little space out there yeah. for it. Okay. Oh, nice, 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 nice. So the backyard goes to the pool area. Okay. So okay. Back to the, back other to the front. Yeah. Okay. Pantry is not yet mm -hmm. ready. Okay. Yeah. But you, there's space for it. So this is more nature based. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. It's a whole timber, the roots. Right. Yeah. Did you get that made in Ghana? Yes. Oh, lovely. Everything is yeah. here. Glass, everything. Oh, lovely. It's all made here. Lovely. Very Just that beautiful. I made them put more paint on it. On it. Look. Okay. Modern. It looks yeah. very beautiful. So how many bedrooms is this? Down here we got, it used to be two. Okay. But I cut it down. Okay. So one here mm -hmm. and we got the wardrobes. So this is on suite. It has a yeah. toilet and, and bath. And toilet and bath. Okay. On your right hand side. Okay. And with the interior, we have another team who does all the wardrobes. So everything that you see here, mm -hmm. we do it all. Okay. Yeah. This is storeroom. Mm -hmm. okay. You can use it for a small office. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Or for the women, salon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or like a makeup room yeah, or something. Yeah, makeup room yes. or something. Yeah. Beautiful. This is definitely bigger than a plot than the land, yeah? Yeah, this is one and a half. One and a half. Okay. Yeah, one and a half. Okay. Yeah. It's normally... You could do a cabinetry down here mm -hmm. just for other storage, okay. but I decided to use it as a 
photo gallery. Oh, oh lovely. Yeah, so okay. it's optional. Okay. Or if you want to do a bar, uh -huh. we can also do that. Okay. I can see your photos are all over the place here. Oh, yeah. It's <laughs> okay. a, more like a display. Okay. So that majority of people with the interior decoration, mm -hmm. sometimes it's a bit of confusing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I do things just to showcase mm -hmm. if you build similar house. Okay. okay. You can do similar things. Right, right. To yeah. show people what they can achieve if yes. they yes. build with you. Yeah, yeah, okay. We have a balcony that leads to this end. Okay. We mm -hmm. have balconies everywhere. So when you stand here, you got a good view. This is purposely if you want to build on a mountain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hilltop, much more better. Yes. yes. Flat land, you don't need 360 view. Right. Yeah. Okay. I think many of people have this sort of building mm -hmm. standing up and you can see through down. downstairs. Yeah. yeah. So we do the POP mm -hmm. designs as well. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is like a sky view okay with okay. the lighting this is another bedroom mm -hmm. toilet and bath walk-in wardrobe this one is definitely bigger yeah this is all made in ghana oh, okay the bed and stuff yeah is all made in all ghana, made in oh, ghana. so this side is another view okay for okay. one of the master bedrooms the view here is just something else it's so nice i'm waiting if we can get more better view people can build much better than this yeah and then we're going to compete a little bit. <laughs> You've got a good East spot Legon. here. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're already competing with East Legon with that view. So this side is uh, it's like, it's like kitchenette. Oh, it's okay. It's a small kitchenette. Small kitchenette. Okay. Where if you don't uh, go downstairs, mm -hmm. you can always assess. This is also another side view. You really got a good spot here. How long ago did you get the land here? Uh, since 2016. Since 2016, yeah. okay. 2016. So about eight years ago. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That explains it. This is all Ghana. More Ghana antique. Made. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Room is a bit messy. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Are all the bedrooms on suite? Do they all have toilet and bathroom? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. These days, they like it much more. Yes. Even with the rental properties, mm. you have to. You have to have yeah, a toilet two bedrooms and bathroom in the room. Or yeah. oh, That's okay, what they're looking okay. for. Yeah. You know, the finishing in Ghana is something that everyone look at. You know, back home, mm -hmm. it's more different. Yes. And when they come here, they like it like that. Mm -hmm. and most of the people, when they finish building, mm -hmm. they are not happy because of the finishing. Right. So we're very particular about, about the, finishing. the finishing. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So this side gives you the a huge view. Oh, okay. It's another balcony. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Lovely. The summer hut is optional. Okay. okay. Yeah, that takes another lot of money, but that depends if customer wants a Want summer hut. Okay. But not everybody that you, you want them to assess that. your the private. Yeah. Yeah, living area. That's why stuff. here we did not link it. Ah, it's separate. Yeah, it's separate. Oh, so. Okay. If you get few visitors and you don't want them here, mm -hmm. you can keep them here, here. right? Yeah. And the space you utilize well because underneath is the car it's park. Is the car park? As well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This is nice. These days, I don't think we build garages anymore. No, right? not really. It, yeah, it, nobody. It really doesn't give good garage. shape of the house, yeah, so right, right. we try and keep it as a carport, mm -hmm. and you can have your full security mm. as you can see. So yeah, yeah. Beautiful. But that depends on the customer view. If they want a garage, we right. can use this as a garage and the top is a summer hut. Right, yeah. right, okay. Yeah. I've heard it's very um, difficult to do a pool. Have you had those challenges doing this pool here? Or? To be honest, mm -hmm. I use three different people. Oh. With my work, if I do my assessment and you are not going the way I want it, Straight away, I get rid of you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because okay. they will mess you up. So yeah. you have to know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what you're doing, that's where the problem is. Okay. They might finish the pool, mm -hmm. and there is not even a drainage. Right. Or they might finish it, or there is a leakage somewhere. Mm. They might finish it, and all the requirement might not be in. Okay. So you have to know what you're doing. So right. that Yeah. Okay. You follow them up with it. Other okay. than that, trust me, there will be a lot of funny stuff right yeah. okay okay <laughs> <laughs> so right. we have to try it but this is just the rainwater yeah sure yeah sure, sure. myself i don't swim yeah so I don't <laughs> that's know why, why you haven't filled it i should it keep that. the food and you know i have to clean it <laughs> yeah when nobody's yeah. swimming in it yeah, yeah so yeah. when the house is full maybe yeah yeah 
You guys have seen the incredible building that Ennis has put together out here. This area is called Pabinha. The views here are something else. You guys have already seen it for yourself. You can, as you can imagine, I already have a lot of burning questions for Ennis because what he's done here is incredible, especially out here in Ghana. So I'm going to ask him some of the questions and I'm sure it will be useful for you. Ennis, thanks for your time today. Thanks for coming. Okay. So how long have you been into construction? It's been a while. Mm. Back in Australia, mm. I am, um, let's say, a developer. Okay. And we buy the house, mm -hmm. renovate, sell. Mm. We buy the land, build, mm -hmm. rent it out, mm. or sell it. Okay. So I'm into it from a scratch mm -hmm. and in early stage. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I've been in Australia for the past 24 years. Okay. okay. So 24 years, I was into something else, mm -hmm. and then. I studied in mental health. Oh, okay. So I did nursing for two years. Oh, wow. And I okay. thought I was going to be a boss in nursing. So, <laughs> you know, two years we did the work placement, then it's like, oh, no. Mm. And then I decided to do social science. Okay. Did in mental health. Okay. So I did set up my own business into disability okay. and mental health. Okay. So... I build, rent it to the company. Mm -hmm. I build and sell. Mm -hmm. And I build and rent it to the public as well. Okay. So with the construction, I'm into it in early stage. Okay. So when I came to Ghana, I was already doing it as well. When we go back 2018, 2020, mm -hmm. yeah, I was already into construction. Construction, so okay. We build apartment here. And then we build normal houses and custom houses. Okay. Yeah. So okay. depending what the customer wants. Wants. Okay. Yeah. With the public use is two bedroom mm -hmm. and suit mm -hmm. and one bedroom and suit okay. apartment that we build. Okay. We have one at Tetegu that okay. is West Makati. Mm -hmm. So West Makati is 34 apartments altogether. Mm hmm and we got 16 ready okay. for rent as okay. of now. So what's the price range for that one? For the price rent range, three bedrooms is going for 3,500. Okay. And two bedrooms is 2,000. And one bedroom, we got one bedroom that has a separate dining area. Okay. That one is 1,700. Ghana cities. And then the normal one bedroom self contained, mm -hmm. which doesn't have a dining area. Okay. Is, 1,500. 1,500 so okay. The difference is 200, 1,700, 1,500. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah. When it comes to estate, we have gated estate in mm -hmm. OEB. Okay. Yeah, so OEB is about six plots mm -hmm. divided into six. Okay. So the area is huge mm -hmm. and the weather is good. Mm -hmm. And also it's under the hill so you got the good breeze from the hill right. and the area is like a breeze or you is more like a boundary of a breeze okay yeah, yeah. so it's a quiet location mm -hmm. not like the road house mm -hmm. roadside houses whereby cars are going, going everywhere too forth. noisy yeah so this is a cozy area mm -hmm. and it's three bedrooms house and a maid servant corner at the back okay so let's say three and a half bedroom that also has living room open kitchen pantry mm. and then upstairs got three bedrooms okay so, and it's going for 180,000 okay so there is flexible payment as well depending on terms and conditions that we go with you okay so it sounds like you had done a lot of work in construction before even moving it to Ghana is yes. that right yeah. okay okay yeah. what has been the difference like has there been a big difference between working over there in Australia in construction and then moving over here and trying to do the same thing yeah construction in Australia you know the policies and procedures when you want to build over there is different okay and here to you have to follow the guidelines mm -hmm. of all the architecture, engineering, mm -hmm. everything. Right. The workers are different mm -hmm. and timing, materials, mm -hmm. everything is different because mm -hmm. whereby over there we use bricks mm -hmm. and brick veneer. Right. And then the setup is different from here. Right. See right. how we do foundation here? Yeah. Over there is a slab. Okay. The level, do all the plumbing, right. do all electricals, mm -hmm. put a slab, and then they do the wooden structure. Right. And then the brick around it. Mm -hmm. So it's all different. It's yeah, very right. different okay. when, when you compare. And mm -hmm. here is blocks. Mm -hmm. So the blocks, about six inches blocks, five inches, and the hollow blocks are different. Yeah. Very yeah. heavy. Yeah. 
in Australia for them to rate this building is in million dollars. Yeah, for sure. Because of the size of the blocks, sure. it's heavy, it's yeah. going to cost you yeah. to build. So yeah. that is the difference. Okay. Yeah. And has it, have you had any major challenges trying to transition into building homes here in Ghana? The only problems or the challenges might be the land. Okay. You know, the land issues okay. here. Okay. Some of the land, you might buy it three times. Okay. So you buy it from the first chief, you buy it from the second <laughs> chief, if you are lucky. And sometimes you may lose it Oh, completely. gosh, after buying it three times. Yes. Yeah. so <laughs> you, you have to be ready. Mm. You have to be ready. Yeah. And first of all, when you decide to buy a land in Ghana, mm -hmm. you have to do a proper search. Right. Yeah. Mm. We got window search and we got official search. Okay. So the window search will give you all the people that owns the land previously, the judgment, they will just write it for you. Okay. But if you do official search, mm -hmm. that goes on a record. Mm -hmm. So that will detail from when that land was titled. Okay. So the judgment to one owner, to the third owner, mm -hmm. first owner, mm -hmm. whatever. Okay. And then you find out who is selling it. Give you one example. At uh, OEB, mm -hmm. the land was registered under a different name is okay. one of the big pastors. Mm. I will mention the name. Okay. So it's registered under that. Mm. But those who got the judgment, the right owner of that land is uh, for the Akrapin people. Okay. Yeah, they're from Abri. Okay. Yeah. So Adam Robe is the right owner of okay. those areas. Mm. So, but the title is not under Adam Robe. Ah. But the judgment mm -hmm. is Adam Robert. Right. So they own it, mm -hmm. but somebody has titled, titled the area. Titled it under okay. a different person. Yeah, so if you buy it and you want to register the same land, mm -hmm. you have to go through the person who has the title. Mm. Other than that, you can't register. Oh, okay. So, for instance, I'm selling you a land mm -hmm. registered under somebody. Mm -hmm. I might be related to the person and I'm selling on behalf of the person mm -hmm. or am I selling it without his knowledge? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that is why we got the land issues here. Mm. So once you do all the search and if you are comfortable before you pay mm -hmm. and mm. some of the challenges, you don't buy the land and leave it. Yes, okay. You leave it for a while. By the time you come back, somebody is already on it. Yes, and, uh, yes. I quite remember when we first got to... Uh, atomic dungeon. Mm -hmm. A lady came around and she said, oh, this area looks like my land. Mm -hmm. I was here some time ago and mm -hmm. I said, how long ago? She said, oh, since 1983, I bought the land here and it's been 15 years. And she hasn't checked on it or anything? No. Oh my goodness. Because she saw a snake one day. <laughs> <and she> said, <laughs> that sounds like something I would do. <laughs> so she never returned. <laughs> After 15 years. Wow. So, and that particular land, somebody was on it. Oh, already built a wall, mm. and she was behind the wall mm. crying. And now she's on a pension. So oh. she's coming to visit her land. Oh, so no. when you buy, make sure you protect it. Yeah, yeah. And you title it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. Okay. those are the challenges. Mm. Other than that, the other challenges comes to the credits. Okay. I know most of the people in the diaspora go through a lot of challenges mm. when they're building back here. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of challenges such as the structure, mm. the, the finishing, mm -hmm. and everything. You mm -hmm. have to know what you are doing mm. first. Mm -hmm. Other than that, if you allow them to do whatever they think is okay, mm -hmm. you might not like it. Mm. Or many people build... They come to inspect and they don't like it. Right. Yeah. yeah. So with Golden Cherry, we're here to help the diasporans to be able to get what they want. Yeah, they want yeah. yeah. It's not much, much profitable business where we just want to help people to be able to come back home mm. and settle, mm. be able to build their dream home mm. and come and have a rest, be able to build commercial properties mm. if they want to. Okay. So. We're here to help. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to the building, we have categories where you can build. Mm -hmm. So our slogan is building with no stress. Good. Okay. So no okay. stress in building. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we, we, we take it in a slower pace mm. so that you can build and finish mm -hmm. without any stress. Okay. So okay. we divide it into 12, mm -hmm. 12 parts. Mm -hmm. 
where you will start your building. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, if you want to do a foundation mm -hmm. and your strength in financial side is okay, mm -hmm. we do the foundation only. Okay. As you can see around, some may pour concrete half and half is dry, it's not completed, right. the structure is getting rotten, mm -hmm. you know, under the rain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And they leave it hanging. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We, we don't do that. Okay. So we assess mm -hmm. and make sure this is where the level of your strength is. Okay. We do the project up to that level. Okay. And stop it until whenever you're ready to complete another stage. Okay. Yeah. So if somebody already has their land yeah. and uh, they want you to do a project on it for them, yeah. if they want, let's say, like the, it's the simplest build you could possibly do, yeah. what will be a price range they would have to start with on average? Price range, depending on what they want to build. Mm -hmm. If it's a single story, you can start with 14 mm iron rods. Okay. If it's a double story, you start with 16 mm iron. Okay. So the okay. calculation based on what type of building oh, you want to build. Because then the materials will vary. Yeah. Okay. And also, if you want it stylish, mm -hmm. it comes with a cost. Yes, yeah, sure. If you want it simple, sure. then that is much more easier. Okay. But nowadays, people want it to look a bit stand out. We all want it to look like your <laughs> house. Yes. <Yeah>. So <laughs> other than that, it can be simple as ABC. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Just sure. Roofing, mm -hmm. you know, some roofing is more hidden, mm -hmm. blocks around it, mm -hmm. and some is just one slope. That's it. Easy. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, that's right. You can live anywhere. Yeah. The room, the interior is much more important. More than so than the if you don't have too much to spend mm -hmm. and uh, you want to build four bedroom mm -hmm. standard, mm -hmm. look, you can manage because right now, four bedroom can cost you maybe 800. Yeah. You can manage probably. 500, 600 okay. to build the same house. House, okay. Yeah. Okay, sure. So let's say I wanted to do like, I have like half a plot. Yeah. And I want to do like a simple two bedroom. Yeah. No extra stuff. Yeah. What would be, how much will I need to do something like that? Two bedrooms two budget. Bedroom. Just two bedrooms. Okay, two bedrooms, simple. Okay. Maybe uh, one bathroom in the master bedroom and then one guest toilet. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then a kitchen. So two bedrooms. A single one bedroom, mm. probably for 400 blocks. So 800, two bedrooms, the hall and everything. Mm -hmm. Let's say roughly 2,000 blocks mm -hmm. and build you something. Something like that. Smaller. So what would I pay you to do that? We don't charge for the whole building because like I said before, we want it to be more flexible. Mm -hmm. So we do calculation for foundation. Oh. You pay for it. Ah, okay. We Instead charge doing one big for bowl. supervision. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, okay. so... Like I said, it's not a profitable business whereby I'm going to charge you a whole house. It's going to cost you a million. Okay, I or get you. Or 300,000 sure, Ghana. Sure. And then you don't know how much material mm, costs. Mm. Because every day, price is going up. Yeah. So yeah. based on your strength, mm -hmm. we work out what you have. Okay. And budget around the money. Okay. And then you finish that. Oh, that because makes Because iron rolls today, cement today price will be different mm -hmm. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So if we're doing it today, let's say this week, you want to start. We budget around this week. Okay. And if it's going to take two weeks, mm -hmm. then we charge you supervision. I get you. And then you pay for the material cost. I get you. And I get you. Labor. Okay, yeah. that makes so sense. It that is sense. more doable. Okay, yeah. yes. I feel like that's a good way to suit everyone's budget then because Definitely. you're kind of doing it at your own pace. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's really good. That's that's a very good service yeah. you're offering here then. Unless if you want to buy materials, let's say the only thing you can save money on it is the iron rods. The okay. iron rods, you can buy it. We can do calculation to completion. Okay. And then you can buy it down. Okay. okay. So a project that I spent about 30,000 for iron rods mm -hmm. just for flow. Mm. Now it's about 570. Wow. Just for the flow. Wow. So you can see how much it's gone it's up. It's gone up in yeah. a year. Yeah, right. Yes. Yeah, especially out here in Ghana. The yeah, price is yeah. just so, so if quick. you want to save a little bit, mm. you can buy those materials down. And put it down. And yeah. yeah, keep it, use it slowly. Mm -hmm. yeah, that way you build cheaper mm -hmm. than you wait. Mm -hmm. A longer period before you complete the building. Another question that I wanted to ask is so what's the value of this place now, this custom built that you've done here? What's the value of it now? I don't want to scare people. <laughs> so if it's on a flat land, mm -hmm. is the value is different. 
Okay. As you can see the landscape, because yeah. here was a hilly, mm. it wasn't leveled at mm -hmm. all. So mm -hmm. we have to pick up a level land right. by building a retaining wall. That's okay. why you can see the steps going down. Yes, so yes, yes. that all comes with the cost. Ah. But for instance, if somebody got a flat land, mm -hmm. it's going to be more cheaper. Okay. Yeah, okay. more cheaper. Okay. And depending the finishing, mm -hmm. if you look at the finishing, all the extra POP yeah. finishing yes. is a cost. Yes. If yes. you don't want it, mm -hmm. it's going to be more cheaper. Mm -hmm. If you don't want the void, it's going to be more cheaper. Yeah. 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 So. Okay. Yeah. It depends how you want to finish it. Okay. The block work doesn't cost much. Okay. But the finishing, the finishing is, is where, where the problem is. Okay. Uh, if you want to keep it simple, uh huh. Yeah. Then it will be less costly yeah. for you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Amazing. Well, I think you are doing incredible, and it's because you said you got the space in 2016. Yeah. You built, you started building in 2022. Was yeah, that right? Yeah. And we're in 2024, and it's all done. Yeah, and it's yeah. you know it's livable. So, you can live here and all that. And the attention to detail is really nice. Even the tiles, the yeah. way you have set it up, incredible, yeah. incredible. I can see your expertise in yeah. the work that you've done here. Sometimes you don't need the carpet. Yeah. Use the tiling for carpet. You can yeah. mop it easy. Carpet, you yeah. know, the dusty yeah. environment. Yes, so, yes, yes. Yeah, you keep it nice and simple. Lovely, yeah. yeah. So, NS, if people want to contact you directly as well, what's the best way for them uh, to contact we you? We got the contact on the website. Mm -hmm. I used to be on this, but we have a commercial contact number okay. on the website. So, oh, okay. yeah. So, I'll include all that information for you yeah. guys so yeah. we can speak about it if you're interested yeah. in all that. Yeah. All right, guys. I hope you guys have found this video useful. I hope you guys have enjoyed touring the space and you've enjoyed my conversation with Ernest as well. Thank you, Ernest, once Thank again you, for coming on my channel. Thank you, guys. <laughs> all right, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to follow your bliss so now life is short follow your bliss na nipa ye den follow your bliss na die be si bia ye and follow your bliss na den na mada take care guys i'll see you in the next one bye i like it <laughs> thank you <laughs>